Welcome to Pioneer BitCountry, a home for Web3 pioneers, creatives, communities, and brand fans. So, do you want to build an online legacy? Connect with your community or utilize the power of NFTs in the metaverse? Of course you do. Let's get started. Great news. We are entirely browser-based. Start by typing pioneer.bit.country into your browser and you will arrive onto our platform. First of all, you need to connect your wallet. Read and accept our terms and conditions, select which account you would like to connect, and there you go, you're all connected. It's time to have some fun. All right, let's get started. You need to send your NEAR tokens to our platform. Go to My Wallet and copy either the Pioneer or Substrate wallet address and use it as your receiving account to send the NEAR tokens. NEAR is the native token for our blockchain. It is the universal currency for purchasing resources, paying for transaction fees, and can be used in governance or staking in the material campaign. Let's start with staking. Head over to the staking tab and you'll arrive at the material campaign. Once there, click onto the staking bubble. Click onto stake near and enter the amount of near that you would like to stake. Remember, the minimum amount of near to stake is 100 near. Congratulations, you have successfully staked your first near. In the next mining round, you will earn your first bit rewards. To claim your bit rewards, click the claim all button in the middle of the material campaign. Your bit balance can be found in my wallet under the material and energy source. Bit is the in metaverse utility token. It can only be mined in the material campaign or burnt in the metaverse. It is used to build in the metaverse through placing voxels, 3D assets and props, crafting NFTs such as wearables and activation passes. It is also used to customize your pulse page and add a picture onto your estate. Head over to the homepage and click create a metaverse project. You'll be surprised. It only takes 12 seconds. I told you it was easy. Now, let me show you the features of your own metaverse. Let's start with the homepage. This is a public page where visitors can get an overview of your metaverse. You can customize the name, description, banner, and set a profile picture. You can also check out your land metrics. Here you can see the size of your metaverse, the total bit burnt, the number of estates that your metaverse contains, and the available land units. Plus, you can tell how many people own land in your metaverse. You can also see what activation passes the metaverse has enabled, check out their social links, and have a look at the trade summary to see how active the metaverse is. Let's head over to the marketplace. Every metaverse has its own unique NFT marketplace. Here, metaverse visitors can browse NFTs that are specific to your metaverse community. If the metaverse owner holds and enables an NFT authorization activation pass, community members can request to list the NFTs for sale on that metaverse marketplace. The metaverse owner can decide if they want to charge a listing fee of up to 25% for a successful NFT sale on that marketplace. It's time to check out your metaverse map. Initially, it will look rather bare, as no raw land blocks have been deployed. It's all void space that is indicated by the black, but you will see in the middle there is a purple pink box and this indicates the epicenter of your metaverse. Okay, so let me show you what a metaverse could look like. Here is a metaverse that has 10 deployed raw land blocks. Each land block is made up of 100 land units. Each land unit is 10 meters by 10 meters in the metaverse. Adjacent land units can be subdivided to create estates. This metaverse has many estates. Some of them have also burnt bit to add a custom thumbnail. Estate formation is conducted by the metaverse owner. Estates can then be sold or transferred to the community members as NFTs to encourage co-creation of your metaverse. Let's go back to the main homepage and look at the Pioneer map. As a metaverse owner, you should aspire to secure a spot on the Pioneer map for maximum exposure. Pioneer map is a multi-metaverse map that is limited to 10,000 spots. Metaverse owners must bid in an auction held by the treasury to secure themselves a prime spot. 
Location on the map is super important, especially for reward-based marketing campaigns. Ideally, spots close to epicenters marked in the orange boxes are the best. Zoom in and out of the map and click on individual metaverses to explore them further. All right, so are you ready to start building? There are three different places in bid country where you can build. You should definitely start in the sandpit. Here you can get familiar with the controls and practice building. You can also test placing your 3D assets to see how they appear in the metaverse. Sandpit is free. No bit will be burnt, but remember, nothing is saved in the sandpit. So now that you have the hang of building, it's time to upgrade your building skills to be in the bunker. You should start by crafting a bunker activation pass by burning bit. The bunker is a private metaverse gallery. Building in the bunker burns bit to save your creations. You can share your bunker URL with friends and activate multiplayer for more fun. Finally, you can build in a metaverse. To activate the build mode in a metaverse, you must own deployed virtual land or estates. When you are building in the metaverse, bit is burnt when you place or remove voxels, props, or 3D assets. Do you want to spice up your avatar and dress it in the latest swag? Head over to the Craft Metaverse Objects tab and burn bit to craft avatar wearables. Wearables are NFTs and will appear in your My Wallet. To customize your avatar, select the avatar tab and click on new customization. Here you can change the skin color and browse through and try on different wearables. But remember, only wearables that you own will be saved onto your avatar. I know what you are thinking. What about the NFTs? Start by clicking on the NFT creator tab. All NFTs must be minted into an NFT collection. So let's click create a new collection. Fill in all of the data and add a cover image for the collection. Remember, minting a collection is irreversible. So double check all of the details before you continue. Now that you have created a collection, it is time to mint the individual NFTs into that collection. Click to enter the collection and select mint NFT asset. Enter the details of the NFT and upload the image, MP4, GIF, document or model that you want to be the NFT. Analyze the asset and check the metaverse performance and if you are happy with it, mint the NFT asset. All of your NFTs can be found in My Wallet under My Assets. They are then sorted through your collected or created NFTs. Okay, so do you want to sell an NFT on the marketplace? To list and sell an NFT on a metaverse specific marketplace, the NFT collection must be approved by the metaverse owner. If you are the metaverse owner, your collections will automatically be approved. A metaverse owner must hold and enable the NFT authorization activation pass to receive listing requests. Once a listing is approved for sale, it will appear in the metaverse specific NFT marketplace. NFTs can be sold individually or as a bundle in the auction or buy now process. If a metaverse owner also holds and enables the global NFT activator pass, then all of the NFTs that are listed on that metaverse specific marketplace will also be discoverable on the global NFT marketplace. So there you have it, an overview of Pioneer BitCountry. You can use our application to build your brand Web3 identity, create your own metaverse identity, build in your metaverse with 3D models and voxels, own virtual land, you can mint NFT collections and assets. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Get started with Nia and Bit today.